Welcome back to the Messy Garage, and we're here to talk today about the new Milwaukee M18 Gen 3 High Torque. And the reason you don't see one is because I'm not going to get one. Let's talk about it. All right, so uh, I haven't done a lot of uh, videos on my Milwaukee stuff. And I've got a fair bit of it. Um, and there's a, a, well, let's jump over the messy and peek into my Milwaukee drawer. I mean, I've got, I've got some Milwaukee stuff. And I really like them. Uh, we'll talk about my M12 ratchet here in a while, maybe. But anyway, that's not the focus of today. The focus of today is why I'm not going to buy the new 2967 High Torque. Now, I actually had a 2767, the Gen 2, I guess. And the reason I don't have it anymore is because it was big, and it was heavy, and it was bulky. And um, this guy came out that had the tri-lights, which I love. It had the Mode 1, or where when you go into this mode... The, the gun will either break free and then slow spin a bolt or nut or whatever, or tighten and then stop so you don't ugga it ugga into oblivion and let you do something more controlled. Really like that feature. <clears throat> and between all those things and just the sheer scale of the 2767, um, I was super happy with this. And it has done absolutely everything I've asked of it. And to be honest, as much as I really, boy, I tell you, my hands went over the click now, the order button a bunch <laughs> in the last, you know, 24 hours, call it. Uh, Torque Test Channel's review was really, really great and interesting. And, you know, people have shown the new 2967 undoing bolts at incredible levels of, you know, foot pounds of torque on. I, I don't deal with that. I mean, I don't live in the rust belt and I certainly have, uh, you know, a lot of respect for people who have to work on, uh, old rusty cars. Uh, I don't work on big rigs. I don't have a, you know, commercial series truck. I don't have anything that's asking so far for more than this guy will do. This is by the way, the gen to mid torque, which is really the predecessor to what you see in the 2767, same design language, the tri lights, the mode one, all that stuff comes in the new 27 or 2967. That's one of the reasons I went, Oh, I'm gonna get it, but I don't need it. And there's certainly a want versus need things that goes on constantly with tools, and you know, this channel is kind of part of that insofar as I'm contributing to the noise, I guess, but I'm also trying to give you an idea for why I do what I do and what value it has to me when I get it and what I think of it and why you might when I want to choose it. And this is one of those times. I mean, the for the bang for the buck and for the shortness of this guy and for the amount of stuff it's done, I've gone through the whole suspension of several cars um, it's not just wheels and, you know, lugs and things like that. It's been great. And to be honest, and I'll put a picture on the screen real quick here in a second, doesn't, I mean, while my M12 stubby, which actually preceded this, at one point I had this and the Gen 1 mid, I guess, um, and the 2767, and the old mid was kind of a baby 2767, and so it was kind of bulky and didn't go in everywhere. And this is what Jenner brought that in. And, and, and. So, long story short, the, you know, pairing of this yields everything I need. So I got rid of the 2767. I sold the uh, the old mid to a buddy who was happy to have it. Needed a, a better than, you know, entry mid torque or... Yeah, better than entry, I guess, impact. Love the stubby for 
its compactness and its absolute lightness. I mean, good Lord, this thing barely weighs more than my Surge. It might even be lighter. I don't know. I love the M12 Surge. Different video. But here's the thing. This fits in almost everywhere I need that that goes now. So I actually have kind of considered uh, getting rid of this because there are times when lugs are too tight or uh, especially if I was gone through suspension where those just didn't have quite enough grump. This had no problems with any of that. And like I said, I'll put a picture up here in just a sec to show you these two guns on the same bolt uh, underneath um, the wheel well of my wife's Mazda uh, at a brake uh, caliper bolt, I think, or carrier, I forget. <clears throat> but anyway, this gets in a lot of small spaces. And so the net of it is, if it's doing everything I need and it gets in places where I need to go and it's the tool I have, great. So the point of this video is, you know, I'm sometimes the best tool is the one you already have. And, you know, is it a want thing for the 2967 versus a need thing? For me, it's purely a want. And I have other things, other demands on my money. And, uh, you know, if you're in a situation where something you have isn't getting all the things you need to do to get your work done or to get your do-it-yourself done or whatever, totally makes sense to get the 2967. It's amazing. But, you know, if... If it's doing everything, maybe it takes a second or two longer than a 2967 might. But if it's doing everything, consider whether that $300 in a kit is truly something you need. And think what else you might do with that $300. So that's just my thoughts. And stay messy.